So, Safari appeared on Wendy Williams' show. Um, I'll say this much. It was a waste of 10 minutes. I think that the interview probably could have been probably about five or six. I felt like Wendy had to try and, you know, bend his arm to get him to answer a question. Um, I think that he probably still not necessarily wants to be with Nicki Minaj. That's not what I'm saying. I don't think he wants to be with Nicki Minaj, but I think he still respects her because they were together for so long. Because he really didn't disrespect her. Like an example, like for example, when Nicki released, I mean, when Remy Ma released that diss track, like Meek Mill was pretty much disrespectful to Nicki. Like, not to say he can't have an opinion or he shouldn't have an opinion, but I don't. It was a little bit childish to me, um, where Safari really kind of just took the high road and didn't disrespect her. Um, I do think that he may have a little bit, a little bit of dirt on Nicki, or. She feels as though he could say something that could fuck up, fuck her up. Because even he mentioned that, you know, she, her team tried to stop me from coming onto the show. And just like Nikki said, girl, don't stop, don't stop my hustle, bitch. <laughs> One thing I will say about that motherfucking Wendy, that motherfucking Wendy been milking this shit for bitch. That bitch had Remy Ma on, bitch had Safari on, bitch. Girl, <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can say what the fuck I want to say. But Nikki is, pro I mean, Nikki. Wendy is probably one of, or not, if only the only talk show host who will have Jennifer Lopez, Charlie Sheen, interview Holly Berry, Aretha Franklin, have then turn around and have Kevin Gates perform with his ass hanging out on stage, have Remy Ma, have Safari, have Jocelyn. Wendy really has built a platform to help herself of course and I think she still tries to say truth to herself. She could have just got she could have just created a show where she only helped, where she only want to deal with a less uh white celebrities. But the simple fact that she has people like Kevin Gates and Safari and Jocelyn and you know K Michelle on her show, it says a lot. Y'all don't want to give Wendy her props, but I, I I live for Wendy, even though she says some fucked up shit sometimes. But anyways, um, you know, the only thing he really said was just like, you know, he helped her in her career. Like, he he did not really want to answer too many questions. And I was, at one point, I, I started getting frustrated, like, girl, like, Safari so fine as fuck, though. Damn. Like uh, Robin said, I'm waiting till it said, if you don't want my slam dunk him tonight. Um, that's so far enough, he's fine. I said, ooh. Okay. Um, but anyways, yeah, ba basically, uh, he didn't talk about shit to me. Nothing that nothing that was 10 minutes worth. Like, when you get a 10 minute segment on a, tele on a talk show, bitch, you better come on that talk show to talk. But if you're just going to be kind of like not wanting to answer questions, you can answer questions in a respectful way. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to, you know, I guess he did his best. What, what, okay, I guess, let me, let me take, I guess let me take back some of what I just said. I guess he wanted to answer the questions but still not disrespect Nikki. Or it could have been, I guess, with the lawsuit that I think they got going on that he didn't want to say too much and put his foot in his mouth, you know? Like, Nikki... You know, Safar like Wendy really wanted Safar to say how much money he wanted from Nicki Minaj, and I would have been like Safar, bitch. I'm not saying because what if I say all I want is three million, and a judge was gonna give me six million? You know what I'm saying? Or what if I said I wanted a million, and the judge was gonna give me, you know, seven million? Like, no, nah, I'm not gonna say. I would like he said I want my fair share. She knows what I did. She just need to give me my motherfucking cut. Like my best friend say, run me my motherfucking change. <laughs> oh, Bitch, run me my... I remember my best friend used to always say that when she used to get mad at people at restaurants or whatever. Run me my motherfucking change. Hello? Um, but anyways, that's all I got to say. <laughs>